This is the last pack opening I ever do in NBA 2K23, my team, before NBA 2K24 drops, and I was able to get a 7 foot iconic 2K23 pull. Guys, this is one of my last videos of NBA 2K23, and it is my last pack opening of NBA 2K23. So guys, like this video and subscribe to the channel right now. Obviously, a lot of the people that are subscribed to me are here for my pack opening videos. It's something that is a real foundation of my channel, and that's that's how we got to end 2K23 before we dive into NBA 2K24 and open more packs. And we're just gonna have an end game pack opening. It's pretty simple, but I wanna see that end of the year luck. I've tried to bring you guys the best content from day one all the way until right now and yeah hopefully we can keep some uh i've had some pretty good pack luck in season nine season nine specifically is where the pack luck has been for me overall i haven't had the best pack luck honestly but um i've had some pretty huge hits and yes yeah, season nine has showed love i know a lot of creators use this time to stop posting where i like to sort of Try and be a little bit more creative, not in this video necessarily. This is just yeah, bringing the guys that enjoy pack opening videos, bringing them more pack openings. But yeah, I try and I try and be a bit more creative and, and keep going because I'm not, I don't like to create, I'm not creating my content based on when 2K is, I, I don't, that's not why I, I, I make content is for when 2K drops certain things or when their games release, when something's new, when something's old, you stop like, I make content because I enjoy making content. So when I, whoa, that is a big body. That is a that is a taco four. So we're, we're doing. This is a really good start. This is a really good start. Taco four already. I will freaking take that all day. Like and subscribe for that one, guys. And I mean, this is. I can just tell this is going to be a good ending to uh, to NBA two K twenty three. I wanted to bring you guys a good pack opening, and it already is. It already is a great pack opening. But yeah, I make. I don't make content. Uh, based around what, what, when something's new, when something old, when 2K dropped, this or that. I just want to bring you guys content and I've tried to do that to the best of my ability and it's been a great year. You know, we're, we've hit 100 and I don't know what we're up to, but by the time you're watching this video, maybe around 120,000 subs, I would like to say. Uh, we're definitely around there at least, but we hit 100K. That was a huge goal of mine for, for this 2K and we hit that, we absolutely cleared it. We absolutely cleared that goal and I got my uh, 100K plaque, which is just all thanks to you guys um but yeah and then we're going to hit 2k24 and a lot of people definitely i mean by now i'm sure so, so many people know what to expect in nba 2k24 got two dark matter pools in one pack here i'm sure a lot of people know what to expect because oh, another bigger body it's wilt chamberlain hopefully it's endgame wilt chamberlain but this this could be supersonics it could be hopefully it's endgame though because endgame is good and pretty expensive but it's not but some people are a bit iffy i guess you could say about 2k24 but i mean i've got luca right here but i mean it's something different you know i mean 2k my team has literally been the same from nba 2k15 until until now so i think the change the auction house changing everything like that there seems to be just a lot a lot different it seems to be very different and i think it's needed i think it's needed i mean it can be a little bit you know worrying that people aren't gonna it's not gonna be the same game it's not gonna be as fun and stuff but you gotta remember it could be better as well it could be a better game and that's that's the mindset i'm having going into 2k24 whatever they throw at us i'm gonna adjust to it i'm gonna adjust my content to it and yeah, just have fun make the best content that that i can drop new stuff try and be more creative more original and whatnot but still bringing you guys the the fan favorite videos with like pack openings of course but i mean comment down below what you're mostly looking forward to in nba 2k24 just from the news we've gotten so far in 2k24 what are you mostly looking forward to i would like to know that so yeah drop that down in the comments this box i mean we got taco which is obviously amazing so that's like a i don't know three hundred thousand. maybe you can sell him for right now but that's obviously an awesome pull but other than that this box has been pretty garbage we haven't even gotten any real like mid type cards you know uh, i don't know who that was jr smith i think jr or tina yeah jr so we haven't even got any like mid cards like a shack or lebron or anything like that we've gotten the lower end cards I mean, Luca has some, like he's more than like JR and stuff, but every, pretty much all low end dark matters. But we did get, I mean, we got Taco, so I'm, I'm not saying this box was an L or anything like that. Hold up, that's another big body. Parlo for the third time, that's the most annoying part. 
is the duplicates. Like, chill with the duplicates, 2K. You think I need three extra parlos? And we're gonna go another 10 box of endgame packs. Hopefully, we pull another seven footer, like a Yao, Victor. I mean, another Taco would be fine. Uh, Sean Bradley as well. If we can get another, you know, 100K plus card, would be good. That's a big body. No, sometimes it just looks like a big body. Then it just ends up being a card like Scotty Pippen. I don't know what it is. Just coming out of it. Um, that's actually what I'm interested to see in 2K24 is what is the walkout animation is going to be that should be pretty interesting but one thing i also know i don't know that's a big body even though this can't be anyone really it's kevin durant so it's just going to be the supersonics kd but diamond tier is the best tier you can get until all of season one and all of season two apparently so i think that's pretty cool forces us to use some of those lower end cards we're getting so many dark matters in these boxes M many many of these boxes are having multiple that was lonzo but that's fine because it's lakers lonzo i i pray to the 2k God, we do not see Endgame Lonzo this entire pack open. I don't feel like it, but I have a feeling this is going to be Lonzo Ball. Watch this be Lonzo Ball. Watch me get two Lonzo. That ain't Lonzo. That is Lamelo. Almost. We pull both the Ball brothers in one pack. It's pretty funny. When Lamelo runs out of the tunnel, his legs are so thin when he runs out of the tunnel, it looks like Victor Webanyama. He takes the shape of Victor Webanyama coming out of that tunnel. Uh, let's go pack number three. Ben Simmons there. Let me get Ben Simmons right here as well. Show me seven feet. That ain't Ben Simmons. Uh, another JR Smith. So we're getting a lot of lower end duplicates. We got the taco four. So we're, we're, we're patterned there. We're good there. We've had a good pack opening just because, strictly because of taco four. It's the second time I've pulled that end game taco four. But this time I don't have to sell him for 600 MT because I lost a freaking challenge. Uh, that ain't a big body, but it's Paul George, which I'll take. PG's nice. He does, he's really, his value has actually tanked surprisingly he's just so common in packs but still no seven footer out of this box which i'm i'm not happy about not one little bit 2k i need a seven footer out of this box two seven footers two expensive seven footers should be what we see another see another jr smith but getting hit with duplicates today i want one more seven footer to end this pack opening because like I said, it's the last pack opening of 2K23. Needs to be special. We need Taco and we need Victor. The two best cards in the game. That would be the way to end it. Right here is pack number six. We got Mo Bamba, Pink Diamond. I got a Celtics logo. That ain't a big body. That is the man who I said I didn't want to see. I really did not want to see this man for this pack opening. But he was going to make himself known. It was obvious. We knew Lonzo was going to turn up eventually. It wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when Lonzo was going to jump into this pack opening. Sleaze his way into it. Pack number seven. We're not going to be pulling um, Dark Matters for that much long. We're, we're going to be trying to get Amethyst and Diamond cards in 2K24, which is crazy. That transition from day 365 of one 2K to day one to, of the next 2K, crazy transition. Trying to get Amethyst and, and actually being excited to see it. And it's actually hard to green multiple threes in a row and stuff like that. Another James Harden. Honestly, this pack, like, we got the Taco 4, but other than that, man, it has been pretty garbage. The amount of duplicates we've gotten has really summed up the type of packs that have dropped in 2K23. And we've only got like two, maybe three left, just two packs left. You need to clutch it. We've got Hollow Yao Ming. Let me get the other Yao Ming, the endgame Yao Ming, another Luca. So Luca, yeah, Luca sells for like 20k plus, which is good because he's not like a, a 10,000 MT endgame like Dr. J or, or J.R. Smith, but doesn't do it, doesn't do this box justice. This box needs more than an endgame Luca. And I hope it's in this pack. We've got two Dark Matters to end it. Show me seven feet right here is going to be... It's that freaking Lonzo Ball. That is deliberate. That is a deliberate tack from Lonzo Ball himself. And that is going to conclude the final pack opening of 2K23. Endgame Taco 4 definitely saved this pack opening, so we're not walking away empty-handed. But guys, thank you for watching this video and all my videos this year, and be on the lookout for NBA 2K24 uploads, and I'll catch you then. It's been witnessed.